Ich nicht. Hey guys! Hi guys! So you just saw we got out of Hot Topic today. Finally! And yeah, once again, <laughs> Hot Topic disappointed us. Yeah, but hey, that's normal. Yeah, so, but <laughs> whatever. there was only a few of what we got in there and we had to pick what the best one was. Yeah. So the boxes weren't necessarily great. No. But, but we were afraid okay. we weren't going to get them so we had to pick them up anyway. So yeah. right now in Hot Topics around America, you can find the Maleficent and Aurora. So, what's special about them? First off, this is the Glow in the Dark Maleficent. Now, you can find Maleficent at other stores like Books a Million, but she's not Glow in the Dark, so it's not as fun. I mean, she looks the same, but she's not Glow in the Dark, so. Mm -hmm. And then, get the Aurora. She's metallic. She's so pretty. I've been like dying to take these out of the boxes, so. I, I really like that. the gold on her. I so. do too. She's Oops. so sparkly, but hers, uh, she doesn't have the sticker for the exclusive Hot Topic thing. I don't know why. Bummer. You know, hot topic. They they drop the bomb every once in a while. It's yeah. okay. Maleficent doesn't either. All she has is the glow in the dark sticker. Yeah. So who knows? Let's take a look at it. I want to start off with Maleficent first because she's evil and Angelina Jolie's kind of evil too. I cannot wait to see this movie, by the way. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, we're definitely going to see it. Within the next day or two. <laughs> because it looks really awesome and Angelina Jolie is probably the perfect she's, person. Oh my gosh. So. Ooh, look at her. This is actually really cool. Oh my gosh. This is so neat. I love it. She's so pretty. She's so shiny. She has such a small little staff. Like, it's so delicate. You, it's almost like <laughs> it you really can break is. it. Well, wow, this, this is a pop like I've never seen. I love her. She's probably one of my favorites. She's top shelf now. There is texture. <laughs> I love it. Kind of texture. Oh, it's so crazy. Feel her dress. It's like a rubber mat. Like, it doesn't feel the same. No, it feels kind of like a rubber leather, if that makes like a, yeah. like a pleather. <laughs> it's almost like it's coated. It's not normal. I love it. Oh, I love her. Very, very cool. She's so cool. So, once again, she is <laughs> going in the dark. Now, they have the Disney Maleficent, too. Uh, personally, the Disney Maleficent is probably a little cooler just because of the colors. Yeah. There's a lot of special colors. This one, though, is so cool. It's so much. There's just something on the coating that doesn't feel like a normal Funko Pop. It looks paint like job. it's etched. I don't know. It's just, it's something's different about her, and I like it. It's a good different. Let's take a look at it so you guys can yeah. see it. Okay, so here is Maleficent. We found a slight problem with her. It's not a slight problem, it's a major problem. <laughs> she will not stand. No matter what you do, hmm. she will not stand. I've turned her head, nothing seems to work. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Turn it way far to the <laughs> side and she will stand. Sweet spot. There it is. Don't touch her. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a big problem. That's a very big problem. You they know, should have put the lip on her as well. Her body's so small, she really needs those plastic bottoms like a oh, lot of the new yeah, ones are coming out definitely. with. Like what we saw on the Mass Effect pop. So she is definitely, yeah. Yeah, they should have put that just so that she would be small. able to balance herself out. Because, I mean, if you're going to display her outside of the box, you don't want to be able to just have one stationary position. You want her no. to be able to move around. Now, granted, Maleficent would probably turn her head like that, you know. I oh, suppose. I'm sure she but would. That's kind of a bummer. But, you know. Now, you guys She's probably notice cool. here, she does have the lipstick, which is pretty neat. I love that. I love that. It's just something so signature to her face because everything is so dark so bland colors and then you just have this vibrant red lip it just pulls it all out yeah uh angela and jolie the, the people that did her makeup in that movie are really awesome because they oh really God. just her lips pop when that big bright red lipstick i wondered how they did her cheeks and i was like how did they make that is that like cg'd and i just couldn't figure it no, out it's straight you had to explain it to me i can't Which, believe you know, that brings up a point they probably could have done that with this funko pop it might have looked weird though just from the shape of these pops in general but it would have been really cool that would have been cool maybe just to try it probably looked like crap i'm sure they tried it honestly probably, it probably and they're like mm, bad. not so much yeah so forget everything I just said, so yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Up next we have Aurora. The She's good so one. Pretty. And actually I didn't know that Dakota Fanning's little sister is who plays Aurora in the movie. Just found that out. It kinda of blew my mind. Sorry, it's side note. So what? I feel like Aurora yeah. is like underappreciated for like yes. a Disney is she a Disney princess? I don't even know. Yes. Yeah. Is. So does I'm anybody sure know? That. Like I never yeah, knew her name. On the box. I never knew her name was Aurora beforehand because I guess the the animation was never. We were. It was kind of before our time, so yeah, we never really saw it. Obviously, everybody knows Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. But I was gonna say everybody. I think everybody knows her as Sleeping Beauty. They never really knew her name. And I, so I think it's good that recently. the movies come out. Maleficent. The movies come out. So now mm -hmm. maybe we can kind of, you know, get the get the story behind it. What yeah. was that Witchman one that was out a few years ago? The what? Snow White and the, the witch, Huntsman. Huntsman, yeah. The Huntsman, I was like, the what? <laughs> yeah, with Kristen Stewart. <laughs> yeah, she's a horrible actor, so that was horrible. <laughs> she ruined that movie, but the rest of it was really cool. It's she too bad. just about every movie, it, so whatever. That's <laughs> her. Uh, vampire. That face where she was... Funko, never, <laughs> never ever make, her make a Twilight no. Funko Pop, please. Please don't. It's just... Because if you do, yeah. make sure the, the face looks like this. Yeah, you gotta capture that face right there. I mean, the books are okay, but the movie. Mm, I'm sorry, they, I forced. They can you make to do that. Edward sparkle with. Oh my God! Put glitter, the... glitter everywhere. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at Aurora. Aurora. Let's now, see. obviously, what's special about this one is she's metallic. She has a metallic gold paint job, which looks a hundred times better than what you can find at like Books a Million, Barnes and Noble. Oh my gosh! Look how much hair she has. Ooh, that like is just hair. so much hair. It looks like pieces of rope. It's so yeah. pretty. I like it. It's almost it. like oh. transparent a little bit too. And then here's her. Oh my gosh, look at her dress, all that little detail, all the filigree. That's really cool. She's so pretty. I really like the gold on that. I do too. Her look, hair. they had to put a lip on the back to hold her up because she's so big headed. That's a good idea. Yeah, look at that, yeah. guys. I love it. I Anyways. love her headband. <laughs> I love everything. Look at that. Her hair looks like Cheetos. It does look like Cheetos. <laughs> You'll see that. Oh my gosh, she's so precious. I love it. And look at her little innocent lashes. Oh, I love her, I love her, I love her. Now, when you guys are in Hot Topic looking for these, yeah. one thing that you'll notice on these uh, Funko Pops when you're looking to make sure they have a good paint job, the inside of her head, which we'll show you when you look at her, mm -hmm. a lot of times the paint job melts into her hair. Yeah, we And just, that. just keep an eye on that so you can get yourself a good paint job. Yeah, look how precious she is. You can see it on this one. You see the chunks back there? Yeah. Not too bad, though. Not too bad, but she does have chunky hair. <laughs> <laughs> what are the horns, anyways? Does that just signify like she's evil? Like like a bull or a devil? devil horns. I don't know. Like, what kind of hat would you... We haven't seen you... the movie yet, so maybe they explain it. I don't really know. What but... kind of hat would that make sense ever in the world and life? That's terrifying, though. What if you came across that in a dark alley? I would run. I'd be like, I'll what is run, up with your hat? Why do you have a hat that looks like that? See, I wouldn't think too much. I'd just be like, ah, and just go that way. Just immediately, someone's like, hey, look at my hat. And you'd be like, ah. Not if they had a hat like that. Mm -mm. Hmm. I'd be that way. So, 
Aren't they cool, guys? They're so Aren't pretty. they so cool? I love them. They're on my shelf, by the way, not his. Let's take a look at Aurora. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Aurora up close. Uh, the detail on her dress that I was talking about, all the filigree and the flowers, you can really see it. She's so pretty. There's so much detail in her headband, and you see her little rope hair braids or strands, whatever you want to call them. I think she's gorgeous. I, I really the do. Gold metallic. I do too. It just really sets it off because I think had it not been metallic, I think it'd be kind of bland. Yeah, but the yellow the metallic one is really pretty. The yellow one that you can buy in stores right now in just any bookstore is definitely not the same pop. Now, mm -mm. we've been kind of a proponent of not buying metallics because we just, eh. They're never that great of a paint job. Uh, it's not only that, just they don't, I mean a lot of times they just don't do anything for the pop. You really gotta kind yeah, of pick and choose true. what metallics make sense. And this one totally does it. Oh yeah, opinion. perfect. I love it. Here is the side. Her noodle hair. Her noodle hair. And then here's the little lip that we were talking about on the yeah. back of her. Such a good idea. Great idea. Great idea. I wish they'd put this on more pops. Mm -hmm. And then here's the front. Now there is nobody's head or hair or anything that looks even close to this on any pop. Aurora is one of my favorite pops. I really do love her. She's probably going to go up on my top shelf with Stitch and Eve and Wally and Silent Bob. She's going up there on top shelf. I really do love her. Now one thing about these boxes that they come in, they are Disney, but the, mm -hmm. the box in itself, which I'll show you here, does not look anything like what you No, you're it doesn't look like your typical Disney usual, box. Yeah, it doesn't have that little kind of round oval Disney sign, so maybe that's kind of their new logo of Disney movie like, pops. This is the Disney uh, logo that we're talking about, and this one's totally different. I like the new one better. See, I like the old one better. I like the new one. it's more Disney-esque. Although the movie, did, this is nothing like a Disney movie to begin no, with. No, so. no, not at all. Yeah. Also, these are the only two ones in, this, in the uh, set, so... Yeah, that's it. But we haven't seen the movie to really know if there are any other characters that could even potentially be pop. So I don't uh, really know yet. We probably wouldn't even care to have it. Probably not. Those I mean, all I, would, all I want are these two I have now. So I'm pretty content with that. Yeah. So guys, they're at Hot Topic. Pick them up. Go out. These are the ones you're gonna want to own if you're Disney fans. Yeah. You know, I suppose you, if you like the movie, you're gonna want them too. But even if you haven't seen the movie, go for it. Okay, guys. So there you go. Yeah. That was our Funko Pop hunt today, and uh, we were happy yes. to get it. I'm so excited. I've been wanting these ever since I saw them, that they were going to be released, so I'm, I'm very happy. Now, one thing we want to tell you real quick. We've been kind of on hiatus <laughs> uh, for a week on making uh, videos here. Uh, one, because we've been dealing with this cat we're still trying to Yeah, <laughs> she's still rescue. here. I'm sure you yeah. heard her in the background today. Yeah. And we're super allergic, so this cat is making us sick and we yeah. want to be on film. <laughs> and nobody wants it, apparently. And it's a good cat. It's horrible. Yeah, she's she's a great cat. And we've had, like, big puffy eyes and just sneezing and coughing. It's, it's been a fun week. <laughs> but another thing, though. Yes. We've been working on something kind of fun. And I think you guys mm -hmm. are going to like it. It does have to do with Funko Pops. It does. Um, it's just going to be a new series, mm -hmm. if you will. And uh, find out what we've been working on on our Facebook. Mm. So uh, the link's in the description of our Go Facebook. To Click on it. And uh, we'll put a little hint there on Facebook tonight. So, yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks, guys. Bye.